We good, Goku. We got you in a fighting game, one way or the other. Sakurai can't stop us. everybody how are y'all doing all right before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up bruh let's get this video over i don't know gazillion likes whatever bruh you know it all right a couple of dope news items for this video the first one it looks like e3 is getting a revamp this is coming from courtesy of <coughs> gamasura.com the proposed revamp would see the expo bring in more influencers and celebrities to play games and take part in a variety of experiences. They're gonna fly out your boy? Like Nintendo did about three, four years ago? I think that's the only way I'd probably go back to E3. They gotta fly me out for free, brah. Get me the Nintendo treatment, bro. Or if one of my kids wanna go one year when they're older. But it looks like they're gonna be revamping E3 bringing in more um, influencers. I heard that they're also like gonna try to bring in more athletes, try to do things while you're waiting in line. They're trying to change E3 because there has been complaints that E3 has gotten a little lackluster, bro. I'd rather watch it at home, bro. Xbox is gone. <laughs> Nintendo stopped doing their press conferences. Sony, no show. When I say Xbox is gone, meaning that they do their conference separate from E3. They still have a press conference around that time. But what's the point of E3 now? Everything is digital on the internet. So they're trying to spice things up to get more people to come on out. Um, and they're trying to have an influencer night where it's one night. Um, well, a fan night where it's just fans one night. And then have industry insiders on one night. They're just trying to change it up. We'll see what comes of it, but next news item, bro. <coughs> Some big news has dropped in Pokemon Land today, bro. We got Sir Fetched. An all new Pokemon has been. Isn't this an evolution of another Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know about Pokemon, bro. Y'all let me know. But Sir Fetched has been announced slash revealed today for pokemon sword shield i will be picking it up day one it's coming at the same time as star wars so i'm probably gonna be playing star wars first and then pokemon after if i have time but um <coughs> he looks cool he has a sword and a shield he's both worlds mixed in one pokemon sword shield but he looks cool i tell you man this Pokemon game has the best designed Pokemons, man. They look clean. They look clean when they're not recycling animations of old Pokemon. The new Pokemon look good, bro. So, Surfetched has been revealed. Uh, did they say what type he is? He seems like he's flying. Oh, he's a fighting type. Because his sword looks sort of like a celery and you see like an onion thing at the stub. I thought he was going to be a, a grass flying type. But he's a straight fighting type. Interesting stuff, bro. Next news item, bro. Bro. Do you like Batman? Do you like building stuff when people are shooting at you? Well, you're going to love the Batman Fortnite crossover, that's right, <coughs> it's being leaked. This hasn't been officially confirmed by Epic Games or anything, but a huge Batman event has been leaked. There have been some cosmetics and there is a bat glide. You know, we have gliders, a bat glider, bro. That's one of the items that have been leaked should be lit man i'm not real big with i think batman is the most boring superhero bro he even said it himself he don't have any powers his power is be being rich 
What's that Iron Man? or Batman. I think it was Batman who said his superhero power is being rich. Boring, bro. I always thought the movies were boring. He's lit in Justice League, but if he's not in Justice League, I don't pay attention to Batman, but it'll still be cool to have Batman in um, Fortnite. <coughs> That'll be dope. This is the season. This season, I played po um, Fortnite the least, man. Something about the season, how they did the challenges, and I was like, I'm, I'm good. I got enough for the next season battle pass anyway, bro. I hope they switch back the challenges how they do, did it before. All right. Bro, next news item. Pretty big. Game Pass is adding... Big games are coming to Game Pass for September. Just announced. <coughs> Bro, Jump Force will be available on Game Pass tomorrow, September 19th, which is pretty big bro i i say this every time these type of news items drop for game pass game pass is the best deal in gaming bro tons of dope games for only um 9.99 a month 10 bucks a month i think it's pretty cool so jump force comes out on the tomorrow on the 26th we get dirt rally 2.0 I'm really not feeling any other racing game other, other than Forza, bro. After playing Forza, it's tough, bro. <coughs> Another big game. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Now I'm glad I didn't pick up that game. I get it through Game Pass. It's the newest game in the series. It just came out this year. And it's also coming to Game Pass in September. I don't have the release date for that one. But it's also coming. And... Finally, Lego Worlds. Lego Worlds also will be coming to Game Pass for September. And so September is looking like a real solid month for Game Pass subscribers. I have Game Pass Ultimate with my gold, Xbox Live Gold, and my Game Pass is bundled in one dope, dope, dope stuff, bro. And to round out this video, bruh. Finally, we're going to be playing some COD. That's right. <coughs> the Call of Duty beta. Now, Xbox dudes can join in starting tomorrow. If you pre-order the game September um, 19th and 20th, we can play, bro. And on the 20th, it's going to be some big stuff for the very first time. The Call of Duty betas will be opened to everyone. Xbox and PlayStation 4 cross-play for the very first time. The open beta will be the 20th. On the 20th, you don't even need to pre-order the game. It's just going to be open for anyone to play. As long as you have Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus, you'll be good to go. So I think that's pretty dope, man. All right. Speaking of pretty dope. I'm probably going to be playing the Call of Duty beta with the sponsors on the 20th. The 20th when it's free for everybody so we can all get in and just play. Speaking of members, you want to join a dope, dope gaming community, become a sponsor through Twitch. If you have a Twitch Prime membership, you can become a, a sponsor for free on YouTube and through Patreon. Game with the sponsors every night. Tonight, we're going to be on some Fortnite and it's time. To bring my new character, my new uh, my player NBA 2K to the park, boy. I've been grinding a play sharp. We're about to be lit on the park tonight. Holla at your boy. I'm gonna be live on Twitch sometime after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video, bro? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out, boy. Oh, we have our oh, Reggie, please, the man.